probably think I'm crazy by now, but I am a little bit crazy. We are headed to a very exciting destination. This is a new country for me. We have one full day today in Geneva, and then we are traveling from Geneva to Zermatt and spending two nights there. And I am so incredibly excited for this trip. The weather forecast currently says that there is snow in Zermatt, so we will see. I mean, we are going to be up in the mountains. Um, Geneva should be a little bit warmer, but we did manage to pack all of our belongings for the trip into backpacks only because we are flying EasyJet and Jet2 and they only allow one tiny personal bag. So we're in the lounge. We have about an hour and a half until our flight takes off. So we're just chilling here, relaxing. It's nice and quiet because it's literally 5.30 in the morning. So there's that. <laughs> I need a coffee, so we're gonna make a coffee. We're gonna sit and enjoy for a bit and then we will head to the gate. I can't wait. Geneva. We have made it to Switzerland. What are you eating? I remember we have crackers. <laughs> we landed at the Geneva airport around 9.55 I think it was. So really it was 8.55 England time. It is a Sunday. I was wondering why it's so quiet on the streets. But it's Sunday so I guess people are having a little lie-in. I feel like a lot of the stores are going to be closed today because it's Sunday. I really didn't put much thought into that. However, we're here. Flight was super smooth. The airplane was actually a lot nicer than I anticipated. We both got aisle seats, so that was pretty lucky because we could not pick our seats. We have quite a bit of time until we actually can check into our Airbnb. So the plan was to walk around, and I think that's what we're going to do, but it doesn't really seem like much is open. So we're just going to explore. <laughs> like when I tell you, it is a ghost town. It is 100% a ghost town. Nobody here! These trees are so interesting. I don't know what they are. Coffee time. You already know. This coffee is necessary after waking up at 4.30. I have just ordered myself a very large cappuccino made with oat milk and it looks delicious. Shades are going on. It is quite sunny out now. Look at the mountains, oh my god. That view is crazy. We're walking towards Lake Geneva right now. We still have a couple hours till check-in. Haven't heard back from the Airbnb host if it's ready yet, but that's the one perk about having just a backpack and neither of our bags are very heavy, so it's easy to walk around. And actually gives us an extra layer of warmth <laughs> because it's a bit colder than I 
thought it would be, but I'm quite comfortable right now. So we're headed to the lake. We're gonna see the fountain. It's, I, I don't even wanna say it because I'm gonna mispronounce. We are, we're walking towards the fountain right now. And then we're gonna walk along the water and make our way into Old Town. That's probably some cold water right now. In the summer, I'm sure it's very refreshing, but to be wet today, probably not ideal. This is so beautiful. My goodness. It reminds me so much of Austria, which it is very closely related, I would say. But wow, the mountains are just stunning. Oh my goodness. just about to walk down the pier towards the fountain to just get under it because there was a lot of people standing there so we thought oh they're not getting wet as we're on our way there all of a sudden we see a swarm of people sprinting away from it and now everyone is completely <laughs> soaked so I'm really glad and the pier is empty <laughs> the pier is empty now yeah <laughs> oh we got really lucky with the timing there of debating whether or not to do it can you imagine if you didn't go onto the, the little pit, we probably would have gone That's on true. Oh, everything's always working out for me. That's my <laughs> affirmation. flower clock. We've been walking along the water just admiring Lake Geneva. It is so beautiful and we've really lucked out again with the weather. I feel like all of my travels thus far we've had really good weather so I am pleased and we're just having a great day already. I believe we're approaching Old Town. Gonna take a stroll through. From first impressions reminds me so much of Helsinki, Finland. And a little bit like Stockholm, but it's really giving me Helsinki vibes. And I enjoyed Helsinki, so. So far, so good. First impressions? It's really nice, yeah, Helsinki. Helsinki vibes. It's a really nice place. These steps in this Old Town, is reminding me of Tallinn, Estonia. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a nice little view from up top. <laughs> Tired? <laughs> Gonna get you another coffee. It's giving Gothic architecture. So here is the St. Pierre Cathedral. We're gonna head on in and check it out. This was a must visit spot on the list for Geneva. Airbnb is ready, so we're headed there now, which is nice because it's about an hour and a half earlier than scheduled check-in. So we can drop our bags, refresh a bit, refresh a bit, refresh a bit. I can brush my hair because it's looking gnarly, and then we will head back out. Hopefully, get something to eat because we're definitely both 
a bit hungry. Straight walk here. Do you want to go inside? Yeah. If we have to go that way. Everything is closed on Sunday, which actually has been quite nice because the streets are quiet. It's easy to cross the road because there's really not many cars and it is deferring us from even looking in stores because we have no space in our backpacks whatsoever. It's giving us time to really get a good look at the city. Oh, what's that? Look at that. There's like a carnival or something. Should we cross? This is super fun. We just stumbled upon this. Oh, you know, they're probably gonna have mold wine or something. So apparently this park opened yesterday for the season and it's only open until the 14th of April. Well, I guess you take a lap, eh? Home. I say it's home sweet home, but I never eat McDonald's when I'm home. <laughs> it's like a very rare occurrence. I'm way too excited about this. <laughs> I ordered a Happy Meal and a cheeseburger on the side. Best of both. Cheers. <laughs> this is actually hitting. <laughs> like it's actually fresh. Are you alive over there? come out to play which is just beyond lovely and I feel rejuvenated after our <laughs> McDonald's lunch we are walking now to a museum we're gonna check it out it closes at 6 so I think we'll have enough time to go through it all reviews look good should be fun we love a museum and then we need to figure out what we're doing for dinner because prices are extortionate here and we still have two more days in Zermatt so I mean, I'm not even hungry now after McDonald's, but we'll see. up some wine and some water for hydration and we're headed back to our Airbnb and trying to figure out our plan for the rest of the night. I'm starting to crash now. Which way? Oh yeah, I'm directing. I think we're turning. We gotta go a little further. The museum was very good. We spent about an hour and a half in there but it was kind of funny because we were looking for the exhibition 
So we went up to the first floor and the second floor and all it was was like a library and workshop space. But eventually we found it. It was uh, not on the basement, but like two floors below. did not think that it had a cork. Totally thought it was a twist off and did not check before we bought it. <laughs> and there's no bottle opener in this Airbnb. <laughs> oh my God. Be careful. about 9 30 we're about to head out and check out of our airbnb today we are taking the train to zermatt and we will be spending the rest of our time in switzerland in zermatt and i am so excited it's supposed to be even colder in zermatt than it is here in geneva so we're definitely going to be bundling up but our train is at 11 10 i believe so we are about to just head there now so we have plenty of time we can sort out where we need to go and not have to rush we had a lovely takeaway dinner last night with some wine we watched crazy stupid love i was like i couldn't remember the name of it but we watched crazy stupid love and now we are ready for another very adventurous day <laughs> We have made it to the train station. We were trying to figure out which platform it was on because I knew which train we needed to take, but it wasn't showing up on the departures list. We got in here a little bit earlier just to settle in, get some snacks, and just make sure we know where we're going. But we went to the information booth and they helped us out. So we've just gotten coffee and we are about to hop on the train. And in three short hours, three and a half short hours, we will be in Zermatt. believe we're here honestly it feels like a hallmark location now we are just waiting for our ride to our hotel and then we're gonna settle in how cute hotel room and it is unbelievable unbelievable I'm actually working with this hotel which I can't believe I'm even saying because it's just unreal and I'm so grateful and I'm so so excited to be staying here so I want to show you the room because it is insane here we have the bathroom very spacious 
There's robes here too. Oh, yes. Incredible. So we got robes. We got a bathtub, which looks amazing. A nice big sink. Shower is really nice as well. We're on the fourth floor. And look at the bed. The blanket they've got on top of the comforter is so nice. And they've left us a little gift as well. Don't tell me this is a tote bag. Oh, it's a tote bag. Oh my God. We've got our own coffee machine, which is amazing. We're definitely going to make good use out of this. We've got a nice TV, oh, some little treats, little snacks. We've got bottled water. And then I believe this is a balcony. Oh my God. Wow. This is the view from our balcony. Are you joking? And we have a perfect view of the Matterhorn. Oh my God. <laughs> this is crazy. I have no words, which is very rare for me. Cheers. I'm so excited to be here. I love these little spinny things. cold but luckily we packed properly for this we checked the weather before coming i can already say that i i love this place it just feels like a fairy tale this place is unlike anything else i have experienced before because i feel like geneva reminded me a bit of helsinki like we said but here this is one of a kind and fun fact cars are banned in zermatt but they found a loophole. There's like electric little vans, so. But that's it. There's no like normal sized regular cars. The little acorns. Yeah. I like this one with the Matterhorn. I know you were collecting patches. That would be a cool one. Something from here. Yeah, that one's really nice. Stickers? Where would I even put a mug? <laughs> There's no space in the backpack, but I want one. And of course, we meet again. McDonald's <laughs> in Zermatt. <laughs> These are the mini buses I was talking about. They're so cute and small. I'm picking my postcard, so I'm definitely getting this one. I really like the kind of graphic design. And then I want to get another one as well. Usually only buy one. We've made it back. We did make a pit stop at Coop or Co-op, however you pronounce it. We used my new tote, took it out for a spin, but we picked up oat milk because we wanted alternative milk for our coffees in the room. We also picked up a bottle of wine. But now that we're back, we have plenty of time till we have to get ready for dinner, which means we have time for the indoor pool and the sauna, which is right on the property, which is gonna be so great. We're gonna make full use of it. We're gonna use it today and tomorrow for sure. about to head out for dinner. Dinner is actually going to be at the hotel tonight because there's three different restaurants on the property. So we are going to the French restaurant and I'm so, so excited. I'm super hungry. We did have a little snacky snack. The pool, the jacuzzi, the sauna, the steam room, everything was amazing. We were able to get at least like an hour and 15 minutes down there. So a good amount of time and we're definitely going to be spending some more time there tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to. It's exactly what we needed after the travel today, even though the travel was honestly so smooth and seamless and easy. I need some color. <laughs> I 
I'm so full. Definitely ate more than I needed to, but every bite was worth it. <laughs> it's time to snuggle up into bed, get cozy. We're gonna watch either a movie or start a series. Um, we just finished watching White Gold, but I'm sad they only have two seasons of that. So we're settled in for the night. Clearly I have my pajamas on and we gotta recharge for another full day tomorrow. I'm excited. Zermatt. It is day two here and we are up and ready to go for another very luxurious day. Today the weather looks like it's a little bit stormier up in the mountains. The view of the Matterhorn isn't as clear as it was yesterday but maybe it'll clear up later either way. Waking up to this view is unreal. I'm having a pinch me moment. It honestly doesn't feel real that we are staying here. Despite how much I ate last night, I am in fact hungry this morning. I've ordered myself a cappuccino with almond milk and cow got a latte, which also looks insane. Got my bathing suit on, under my robe. We're ready to go. the day we thoroughly enjoyed the spa yet again we definitely will be returning this evening but for now we're gonna go out and about it's quite sunny out actually but it's going to be cold so I did wear a pair of leggings underneath my jeans so that should help me and we are gonna go check out the shops maybe get a crepe maybe get a hot chocolate I really want cheese fondue but we'll see this is my outfit of the day. Like I said, I've got leggings under the jeans, wearing my black loafers, this little bodysuit, and my long coat. And I did braid my hair because I got it wet when we were in the jacuzzi in the pool. It smells insane. All the chocolate. This is my heaven. And a sample. We love a sample. A lot of taste tests. from here. Now this is a unique mug. The mug is on skis. 
how cute. It's 3.15 and I'm getting a little bit hungry and we have passed this crepe place a few times yesterday and today so I've decided that that's what I'm gonna get to eat. Oh my god, it smells insane. And this is the shortest the line has ever been. It's like non-existent. My heart is broken. It's cash only. Just my luck. And I don't have any Swiss francs with me. So, <laughs> it's not happening. So that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. salad from the co-op little grocery store so this should be I mean somewhat decent to fill me up for lunch and as we return back to the hotel they had some little hors d'oeuvres as well so we've got a little extra bite to eat but we're making a coffee and I'm just gonna chill for a little bit afternoon coffee on the balcony doesn't matter that it's 30 degrees we are sitting out here and we are enjoying our balcony with this incredible view. I've got a salad. Calm's got a little salmon, wrap. salmon sushi wrap. And we're back. And it's empty again. This is glorious. Look at that. That looks insane. Look at all the people. So we've been walking for about an hour and a half, maybe a little longer. Looked at a few different menus at a bunch of restaurants. And what we've decided is we're going to eat in at the hotel. Not in the restaurant, we're going to eat in the hotel room. But we are going to get takeaway. So I've ordered a pizza. We're going to grab something for Calm at the grocery store. And we're just going to chill. We're going to watch a movie. I have some more wine to drink. And it's going to be good. We got the goods. That was pretty fast. I've gotten my pizza from Restaurante Pizzeria right next to where we got off the train yesterday. I just need to take a peek. Either I'm starving or that actually looks good, but it looks good to me. Taste test, first bite. Mm. Well, pretty hard to mess up pizza. It tastes good, it's cold, but that's because we were walking in the cold. 